Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Wednesday. I almost screwed up and said Thursday because for some reason it feels like Thursday. Cheers to you. I'm having my coffee with my um, coconut oil and cinnamon, which I packed for the trip. Coconut oil, cinnamon, pretty easy to do people. And you know, for those of you that are like me and travel a lot, I would not normally pack the whole container of coconut oil, but I was pretty much at the end, or I'm almost at the end, and I use this not only for my coffee, but also for my skin. So I kind of considered that I could just bring the whole jar, since I'll probably be throwing it away when I leave. But normally I would scoop some out and put it in one of my plastic bins and bring it. Um, but as you can see from my messy coffee, <laughs> I've got my cinnamon in there, my um, coconut oil, and then I put a splash of cream. I've had um, a really great breakfast here. So I'm in Portland. I'm at this hotel that I am literally just not wanting to leave. The bathroom's very nice. The only thing that can make this bathroom my ideal bathroom is if it had a bathtub. Um, seems to be the new trend in hotels that they just put, and granted, the shower's very nice. It's huge, it has ladies, it has the little um, step so you can shave your legs. You can put your foot up on the step. And it's great. Um, you can get in there and steam up and it's it's awesome. But I really like to take a bath and I like to take my bubble baths and I'm a little unsettled by the fact that there's no tub, but I'm getting over it because everything else here is just amazing. People, I travel a lot and there's not many hotels that I rave about. One of them was in, um, well, I really love the Ritz Carlton down in Miami. I don't like a, all the Ritz Carltons. I'm not one of those, you know, snotty, douchey people. Um, but I love the Ritz Carlton on Miami, Miami Beach. And there's a, a suite that they have, or several suites that are like right on the water. And the view and just that breeze coming in off the balcony, it's wonderful. Um, but anyway, this hotel is great and they have great food. I actually haven't had a chance to explore a little downtown Portland yet because of meetings and appointments and being swamped since I've landed. But planning to do that a little bit more today so but I gotta tell you Portland is beautiful from what I've seen so I'm glad that I'm gonna be back here a lot um, I did have some issues with my workouts and I'm gonna ask you guys if you have any solutions to this because I might need to buy some replacement gloves but I was using these yesterday to do turbo fire and the thing is that they were like one of them was feeling like really hard. I don't even know if you could see it. It was feeling really hard. Like I had, instead of like this malleable um, sand on top, it felt like I had like a rock on top and it was kind of digging into my into my hands. And it's it feels like some of the sand in here hardened. Now the washing directions on here tell you to not get it wet. And so I, you know, I don't like things when they're not clean. So I had tried to spot, spot wash it with, you know, gain detergent at home. I don't know if that was it. I mean, I just, I didn't get it all wet today. I finally got so pissed when I put these back on because I tried to break up the little pieces that had kind of, I don't know, whatever, coagulated together and it still wasn't working. And I'm like, you know, I am not gonna not work out with these. It really significantly changes your workout when you're doing things like, sorry about the rat's nest people. When you're doing things like, you know, Turbo Fire and, and Les Mills Combat, when you have nothing on your hands and you're used to having these one or one and a half pound weights, huge difference. Because I took them off and I was like, well, maybe I'll just do the, the end of the workout or the beginning of this workout without it. And I felt like I, I just had feather fingers. So I don't know if any of you guys have, maybe not this brand. I just bought this brand, like I said, a set at TJ Maxx. Um, but if you have a brand or you know anything about weighted gloves that have sand in them, maybe you should ask Josh Henkin he knows anything but that I don't think that would apply because his sandbags he you know ultimate sandbag training his sandbags would not get wet like these do from the sweat these get really sweaty anyway all that said I was really kind of upset at that but I was able to use these today because you know what I did I'm not gonna lie I just brought them in here put them under the sink and made them wet and that worked so hopefully I mean totally wet not spot dry um, the other thing too to remember if you're gonna do what I did and pack your own coconut oil, be smart, and I think this is the one, yeah. I actually pack, you know, one of my old just cheap spoons. Um, I think this is for my ex-husband. That's why it's cheap. Um, <laughs> so that was, that was just not nice, I'm sorry. 
Um, but pack a spoon because otherwise, you know, think about things. You'll get in your room and you'll go to, you know, scoop out some of your coconut oil and it's kind of hard to do with your fingernail if the coconut oil is not soft. So do things like pack a spoon or um, whatever. But anyway, that said, um, I've had great workouts. I'm doing, I brought my Ultimate Yogi DVD set, which I am absolutely 1000% in love with and obsessed with. I just, and three of my friends have already bought it already. So we're like all feeling the Ultimate Yogi love. And I don't know if I said this in my last video, but I think what I'm gonna do is commit, you know, I don't normally do DVD programs and do the whole program. Kind of don't like being stuck in a, in a hole of like, I have to do this. And I might vary it up a little bit based on going to one of Corey's classes or whatever. But I really think I'd like to commit to doing the 108 days where every day you're doing um, some of the, some yoga. You're doing yoga every single day. Kind of based on his plan because it's just, it's so good for me. It's so good for ev all of us. Um, physically and and then just the whole like spiritual Zen side and you finally calm down and you it's just I used to be skeptical when I would hear other people say that about yoga I'm like it's up they're just standing around stretching and stuff go ahead and try it seriously um, but then again really love um, mixing that up with all of my other stuff and I will tell you this I used my resistance bands in the room, which I don't know why I didn't just go to the hotel gym. It looks like they have a really good gym here, so I'm gonna go check this out a little later, and maybe um, Carla and I will work out together and we'll shoot some videos in the gym. Because um, I really, 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 now that I'm better, and I've actually been better, knock on fist, for, what, a couple weeks straight without getting, like, bubonic plague again or anything, um, really excited to get back into the gym with my weights. I have missed that tremendously. So um, we'll be doing that. And then um, I can't wait to be going back down to Miami, um, doing some regular training with Jay again. Um, that might mean that, um, you know, once a month I go down there, train with him. I mean, he's just, in my experience, one of the best and everything with him is different and he's just awesome. So um, I'm hoping that he, <laughs> I wish I could just hire him and bring him up to be in my suitcase so that I could like a DVD just pop, you know, pop out Jay and there he would be. But he has kind of his own life, so that's unfortunate. Very unsettling. <laughs> anyway, I have to go because we are going to be, um, I think we have a dinner tonight and then I've got some meetings this afternoon. But, um, and I'm also getting ready. Here's another tip. I don't know if I have it here. I don't think I do. Um, but... When you travel, every hotel will always have in their um, in the closet. They will always have you know like the dry cleaning um, sheet where you can get stuff dry cleaned, and then they always have a plastic bag. Now, just in case they don't, I always pack a few plastic bags because then what I do is after I work out, I will take off my sweaty clothes. And here's another hint. Okay, so there's three phases. You you can use these bags to take your sweaty clothes home in. Okay, because you don't want to have your sweaty clothes in your suitcase with the rest of your clean stuff. It's gonna, and then it's gonna make your suitcase smell. But if you're on a really long trip, and, and this is something that I kind of fight with myself on because sometimes I'm just like, just pack one, one set of workout clothes for every workout. But if you're working out two times a day, you know, and for example, this trip, I'm gone Monday through Sunday. So that would be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, that's seven full days of two workouts a day. That's 14 outfits. And I'm not saying outfits like, oh, I need a new outfit. I'm just saying like, if you don't wanna wash your clothes, then you need to have 14 bras, 14 tops, 14 bottoms, 14 pairs of socks. That's when your suitcase and your, you know, your luggage total weight starts to add up. So sometimes what I try to do is I'll pack, I think this week I might have packed six, six or maybe eight, eight outfits, right? And then what I'm gonna do is get to kind of almost at the halfway point of my trip. Now what I'll do is I'll take out some of these clothes in here, some of my, um, my bottoms, some of the tops and the bras, and then I have some Tide or whatever, whatever, the, it, it's sad because the only detergent company I've found that makes sample sizes is Tide. So I'll take Tide, wash my clothes in cold water in the sink, and then I'll just, 
it kind of makes your bathroom not attractive because you just I just hang my stuff to dry all over the place but because you don't need them right away the next day you just let them hang and then by you know a day or so of hanging in your um, hotel room in the bathroom then you have fresh dry clean clothes that you can use not quite sure what's going on out there but someone's having a bad day um, but the other thing to remember too say that you don't want to wash your clothes say you're on a four-day trip and you pack four workout clothes sets of workout clothes. Here's the other thing, this is a clue. Instead of taking your clothes off when they're um, really wet and sweaty and immediately putting them in the bag, I tend to, I'll take off my clothes and I'll hang up the, not the socks, you know, who cares about the socks, but I'll take the pants, the top, and the bra, and I'll hang them up in the bathroom, even if I'm not gonna wash them, just to let it dry, air dry, so then when you put them in there, you don't have a bunch of, I don't know why, it just seems like it's not gonna smell up your suitcase as much if they've dried out, you know? Um, and then of course I bring a bunch of uh, dryer sheets, you can throw some dryer sheets in there, so it's just stuff to, to think about, you know, that makes things, <laughs> I've worked through this quite a lot, but especially if you travel a lot, to be able to get into a system where you're like, okay, this is great, I've got everything I need, um, I, I don't have to overload my my uh, luggage and, and exceed the, the weight limits, and I have enough clothes so that I can do all of my workouts and whatnot. So um, that said, I will probably, yes, I'll be doing yoga tonight. Tomorrow I think I'll be doing that um, Leah Sarago ballet body, which I am loving. Um, amazed to see what it's doing to my legs and um, booty. So um, I'm just, I'm excited. I'm loving everything I'm doing. Um, really feeling good, um, although it's not feeling good last night when I couldn't sleep, and I may or may not have gone into that stupid, what's it called? What's it called when they have um, food in the hotel? The little refrigerator, mini bar. Yeah, those mini bars and I, we really broke up, and, and he keeps trying to get back together with me, and I'm like, no, I've had enough, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, maybe, maybe we were good together. And then, yeah, I'm like the next day looking at the little wrappers of the chocolate I ate in the middle of the night last night because I couldn't sleep going, why did I get back together with you? Damn it. So um, if you're like me, you probably want to tell them at the front desk to, which I did. I'm like, please don't fill that up anymore and please lock it. <laughs> Here's the thing, you guys. We all have our little weaknesses. I'm damn good at just about everything as far as like making good choices and packing and whatnot but there is something about me that when i cannot sleep if i can't sleep and i get up i am i'm just preoccupied with this like i'm hungry my stomach's growling and i go and i forage through whatever's around which is why when i'm at home i only keep my healthy happy stuff i don't keep anything like chocolate or kettle chips or whatever the hell else that i ate but then <laughs> I think I've destroyed it all and I've told them not to refill it. So we did it just a little bit of naughtiness earlier and I'm going to make up for it. So there we go. I have to go take a shower and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. And um, that's it for the rest of you showing up to Portland very soon. I will see you soon. Ciao.